Because we live in a very politically correct time. You can't make fun of no one. Can you just say that to camera? <laughs> you can't make fun of anyone. She's had too many drinks, so we can make fun of her today. Hey, yeah, you can't do that either, because she's a <laughs> woman. Knows I'll I'll hit hit him. Him. I won't hit you, I'll hit him. <laughs> I'm court jester Paul Chowdhury and I'm outside the Palace of Buckingham. Prince Harry has left for a bit of pum pum. They're saying she a gold digger. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke ginger. Let's find out why. How do you feel about, you know, Prince Harry and Meghan leaving England? I think it's a um, mockery to their royal tradition. I think that they can do what they want, really. I, oh, God, sorry, sorry, oh not to contradict you, that's really awkward. Agree. I think they can, you know... Controversial. Yeah. Just leave them to it, I think. We're not too bothered, lives. are we? We live our own lives, they can live their life. Yeah. We've still got a royal family, we've got an important one. Yeah, we've got the Queen still. Yeah, but once you get rid of the ginger, what happens? <laughs> we keep the baldies. Apologise to any bald people <laughs> watching. We don't want to offend anyone. Are you guys royalists? No, absolutely not. How do you feel about them? Um, for lack of a better word, I hate them with a passion. Sorry, guys. Just like to apologise to anyone <laughs> watching out there. I'm outside the Canadian Embassy. What do you think of the situation? Are you allowed uh, to talk about it? I don't have an opinion on it. I mean, they're leaving the royal family. It's a serious situation. So we need to find out if they're going to come back. That's why I'm a bit worried about this, the future of the country. Yeah, I hope that this is the start of the downfall of the monarchy, unless they're watching me here, but uh, I don't think there's any need Hey, for you're going to get us killed out on the yeah, streets, man. I know, we got to be careful what I say. Obviously, but, uh, you know, I grew up through the Troubles in England, <laughs> so <laughs> you guys are too young. You don't remember the Troubles, <laughs> do you? I know. Learn about it, like. You could say he's born into it and it's his responsibility. He has to keep it and do what he should do, or he doesn't have to. I'm on the latter side, if anywhere, that he can... Put Pull out if he wants to. Well, if he pulled out, he wouldn't have had a kid. Have you seen Superman 2? When Superman gives away his superpowers for a bit of pum pum. It's a bit similar to that situation, don't you think? Yeah, it's, uh, it's their personal decision, you know. It's, uh, I think a lot of it stems from the, uh, the business with his mother mm. and the press. Just to get a good driver, I think, who doesn't drink. Do you think. He's embarrassed because his uncle's a pedo. Probably. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. An alleged pedo. Oh, I'd go with the first answer, what you said. Very controversial, but you are from Lincoln. <laughs> the Epstein situation. No. Prince Andrew was friends with Epstein in America uh -huh. and he was involved in a pedophile ring. Okay. Did you hear about this story? No, we didn't. They don't tell you this in Spain? No. We've got some news for you. And it's not good news. 